Hi there, this is Sammy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute ice cream candle. Let's take a quick look at the materials and tools we'll need to make this awesome ice cream candles. We need to get our vessel ready. I'm using a super cute dessert cup for mine. Here's the wick. Also, we'll need an ice cream scoop. It's been amazing if it had a trigger. I've got some molds here for making decorations, and this time I'm using the fruit and fruit molds. I'm gonna use pigment chips for coloring this time. This can prevent the color bleeding when using it for decoration instead of burning. We're gonna use paraffin wax, soy wax, Soy wax pillar blend, beeswax. To start things off, let's get the wick right in the middle of the vessel. To give the candle a more realistic appearance, we can start by making a layer that looks like pudding or mousse beneath the ice cream. We're mixing 80% soy wax and 20% of beeswax for this part. Once the wax is melted, I'll add some pigment chips to color the wax. Using pigment chips might clog up the wick, so if you're planning on lighting it up, liquid dye might be a better option. Since I'm going for a strawberry ice cream sundae, I'll be making this part pink. We can start pouring the wax into the vessel at around 65 degrees Celsius. Once the wax is setting, we can start working on the ice cream candle. For the ice cream candle, we are using paraffin wax and pillar wax. I'm using a 50-50 ratio of paraffin wax and pillar soil wax. We are taking this candle making tutorial to the next level by not using an ice cream shade mold but an ice cream scoop to create our candle. After melting the wax, I'm pouring it into two paper cups. Since I'm trying to create a strawberry milk-like ice cream, I'm working on two colors. I'm planning on using some pink and white pigments. Let's add the pigment chips into the cups. Alright, let's mix them well with ice pop sticks. You can use glass walls or spoons instead. Hold up, the wax is still too warm for the next step. Gonna give it a little more time to cool down first. Keep an eye on the wax as it starts to set at the edge of the cup. Once that happens, we gotta scoop and stir it. Repeat the steps until the wax looks nice and smooth like smoothie. It's gonna take time, but the result is gonna be totally worth it. When the wax looks like sorbet, we can get ready to use the ice cream scoop to scoop it up. I'm cutting off the paper cups to make scooping easier. 
I'll be scooping the wax right out of the tub. Like I said, I'm going for a strawberry and milk fight with my ice cream, so I want it to be a mix of pink and white. Right now, I'm scooping a little bit of white wax. Now for the pink one, I'm scooping a small amount each time to give it layers. Then back to the white one and so on. Once we've got the scoop full, we can gently give it a little press with the ice pop stick. Now it's the time to pop the ice cream out of the scoop. I'm now putting a small piece of baking paper on my hand. I'll give it a good press. After that, I can gently pop it out. It's so cute and realistic, isn't it? Alright, let's put the things together now. Mess the surface a little bit with the heat gun. Gently place the ice cream scoop pass through the wick and onto the layer of the pudding. Check it out, that's how this look. Doesn't it look good enough to take a bite? I'm now preparing the decoration top of the ice cream. Pipe the whipped wax on top of it and place the decorations. You can watch my tutorial video about how to make the whipped wax. And now it's done! This is my way to mix the realistic and super cute ice cream candle. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel! See you next time! Bye bye!